Hey guys, it's me again, your Keksi from Keksi's Brick Builds, and today is the day of days. It's June 1st, 2022, and today is the release of the new LEGO train sets in Europe, and I'm already extremely excited. It's almost embarrassing, but I hardly got any sleep tonight. So I'm now going to one of the two LEGO stores here in Munich, the city of hearts in southern Germany, best known for its annual Oktoberfest, and we'll do some serious shopping. And I'll take you with me. By the way, today's music comes from Michael van der Berg from the Netherlands. You can find a link to his channel in the video description. Be so nice and leave him a like, or much better, subscribe to him. Uh, so here we are in the Riem Arcaden or Riem Arcades in the east of Munich. Uh, the shop is only about 15 minutes from where I live and is always my first choice when it comes to Lego purchases. There is also a second store in the west of Munich and in autumn we will get the first Lego mega store in Germany in the city center. It's now 9.45 am and I'm standing in front of the Lego store. Uh, the store opens at 10 am and I can't wait. Uh, I was here yesterday to check if the sets are available and according to the information from the stuff there are enough sets available. I'm afraid I won't be allowed to film in the store so I'll switch off now and show you what I bought after I finish shopping. So shopping done and I would like to take this opportunity to speak very positively about the staff and the store manager. Uh, every time I come here the, the people are really really super friendly and very very helpful. Um, but now I'm driving out of the underground car park and showing you my purchase or should I say Lego train haul. Ta-da! So let's check our train haul. Uh, so here we have the new train station, set number 60335, which is more of a platform than a train station, but we will change that soon. Then we have the new freight train, set number 60336. Uh, unfortunately not enough wagons for a freight train, but that can also be changed. And most recently the passenger train, set number 60337 in lime green yeah unfortunately the passenger train could only be sold once per person which made me a little unhappy but you know what that's life and now it's building time in today's video I will introduce you to the new Express passenger train I will make a separate video for the freight train and the so-called train station I make the building process as short as possible and only show you a few pictures and a digital building process if you're interested in a complete build video as a time lapse, let me know in the comments. Well, the locomotive or front car or control unit is finished so far. I have to say that I like the original a lot better than the digital model. The nose does appear to be a bit long, but I won't judge that until the entire train is complete and we see the full product. The interior is quite simple, there's a seat and a few controls and that's it. I will revise this in the near future and show all my modifications later in another video. As already shown in my first video about this train, the Bluetooth box is installed with the same snot technique, what means a stud snot on top, as on the last passenger train. Unfortunately what I'm missing on this locomotive is a much better pantograph and at least a hint of a door. And I would have liked it better if LEGO had installed one of the airplane windows on the side instead of the standard window. But I have to say, the overall impression is convincing. There are only four stickers, two on each side, no molded parts and the lime green looks much better than expected. So now let's take a look at the wagons. First, the dining car. In my opinion, this car looks much better than the one on the last passenger train, set number 60197, especially because this time a bar table and seats with a table were installed. In the last passenger train there was only standing room and tiny tables that were integrated into the outer wall. There's a coffee maker behind the counter 
and what appears to be a microwave or a small fridge, I'm not sure. What I particularly like are the information boards that fit perfectly under the roof as well as the small shelves next to the seats for luggage. What is also a nice extra is that the roof is divided into three parts, so you only have to remove the part under which you want to change something. The middle part of the roof is connected to the wagon with more studs and is not intended to be taken off at all. Tiles and a dome piece were installed opposite the counter to attach the wheelchair to. I like the idea that LEGO is now thinking about disabled people and including them in their sets. As already mentioned in my first video about this train, I'm basically happy that this train has working doors, but I would have liked it to be a bit different and I will convert it accordingly. But more on that in another video. Finally you can see a 360 degree view of the dining car. Now let's check the passenger car. From the outside it looks almost exactly like the dining car. The only discernible difference are the two one by one brick modified with bar handle used to fix the bike inside. In this passenger car there are two seats with a table on each side of the wagon. In addition, the small storage areas for luggage were also installed here. I like the possibility of hanging a bike on the wall. We've never had anything like that on a train before. Here too, the roof is divided into three parts and here too, we find the small display boards under the roof. I like the idea that the new express passenger train can travel at least 303 km per hour. That's more than 188 miles per hour. And again, I'll show you a 360 degree view, although a difference is hardly recognizable. But now I don't want to torture you any longer. Here's the real train in action. First we see the train in radius R40, the LEGO standard radius. This is okay for a children's room, but not for a real train fan. Some time ago I bought various radii from the company Trix Bricks from Poland. They sell curves up to a radius of R184 and that's really a huge curve. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, now we're doing the big round through the different radii. First the largest radius R184, then the radius R120, followed by radius R72 and finally R88. And then the same the other way around, R88, R72, R120 and R184. By the way, the two switches are also significantly larger than the LEGO standard, both are radius R104. Ok guys, I have to tell you a secret. I wasn't entirely honest with you. I told you that I only got one passenger train set and that was a lie. I was able to convince the store manager to sell me the only two sets they had in stock. So let's check out the entire train. The complete train currently only runs with one train engine. I replaced the second engine with a normal bogey. Unfortunately, LEGO's new train wheels aren't as good as the old ones, so the train doesn't go as fast as it could. I will change that as soon as possible. But now I keep my mouth shut and we look at the train while driving.
Okay, that's it for today. Or what do you think? Should we also look at the freight train? <laughs> no, not today. We'll see that in my next video. So don't forget to like and share the video. I'm also always happy about new subscribers. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.